fishing. It's a little bit like a game of hide and seek. The fish hide and you gotta seek them out. The only difference between fall and summer is the fish actually group together. And uh, the reason for that is the aquatic plant life is all dying off and they really go where the food source is. And because the, the forage, uh, your shad, your minnows, uh, crayfish, what have you, um, they really need that heat as well. So they'll go to... Um... There's one. They'll go to uh, areas that are um, have thick milfoil or a rock weed mix. That's just a little guy. Let's throw him back. And uh, basically, once you get on a couple of fish, there's going to be a bunch of them. And if you can see the uh, the shad swimming around, there's a good chance you're you're on a good school of fish. Milfoil is a key contributor to this time of year, as it holds the heat a lot better than sparse weed. If you find a dense area of milfoil, make sure you concentrate on that and really pick it apart. You'll also notice that the thick milfoil is going to be healthy, which means it'll hold the forage. If the forage is there, then there's a really good chance that those big schools of fish are going to be there. jig I'm using here is by a company called The Perfect Jig and they hand pour and hand tie all their jigs. Um, I've got a uh, just a three and a half inch chigger craw trailer just matching the hatch. Uh, this uh, jig here is a, a purple green white color combination but it really really matches the crayfish color this time of year. They, they turn really blue on this lake and uh, I find that I get a lot on this color. It's a stand-up jig, half ounce, works really well on that milfoil. Good size. Right this. Yep. Oh, there we go. And a little better size. Still short but fat. Just found myself another thick patch of milfoil here. And it comes up to about five feet. It has deep water access. Wow, this guy really chomped on it. You weren't going anywhere, were you, buddy? There we go. 